why TBC was the deal. So this article is out on boxingnews24.com. I will leave it in the description box if you haven't read it already. I'm sure mostly all of you have read this article already. Um, I've seen some YouTube vids on it. That's how I was first aware of the news. Um, and the two videos that I've seen, two totally different opinions about the matter. Uh, you know, I, I read the article and I was looking at it. And, you know, Rybinski, they came out with a press statement, you know, pretty much saying that uh, new drug tests show Alexander Povetkin was clean. Now, uh, apparently this was a... Uh, the new doping test of the Russian boxer was taken uh, May 17th and it showed no traces of meldonium. I mean, uh, the fight was supposed to take place May 21st, okay? The fight was, it didn't go on. Whether you want to say it's postponed or it's canceled, it didn't happen, all right? Because he tested positive for meldonium April 27th. He failed the A sample and the b sample now they're saying you know i'm seeing people say well hey he tested you know clean five out of the six it's like what does it mean? like what do you mean five out of six so what are you trying to tell me that as long as he passed 83 percent of his test came clean he should fight you know it shouldn't be canceled or something some type of action shouldn't take place that sounds ridiculous man five out of six so if somebody else comes up four out of six are we gonna well, you know, Pavekin was five out of six. I mean, come on, man. It should be six out of six. You know, this to me, for me, is just not enough. Now, yes, they proved that there is nothing in his system now. They got these test results back and there's nothing in there now. Okay, cool. But what about the 27th? Like, I just can't just, it's me as a fan. Now, this is my opinion. I know some of you are going to get real shook up by this. You're going to get real emotional. You you know you're gonna be so upset and leave thumbs downs and I totally understand that man but you gotta get out your feelings man <clears throat> the dude I mean we, I'm just not gonna sweep the 27th that test result date and just sweep it under the rug and say oh you know it was just a little bit even if it was just 70 nanograms so to me if, if you can give me five out of six you should be able to give me a uh, six out of six and for those you're gonna say well they don't know how long it stayed you know I've, I've heard so many different things about. How long this stays in your system? A year, two years, three months, uh, half a year. Look, man. Look, I'm <laughs> I think I've gone too long on this video already. Okay, yes, he's clean now. So let's just keep testing to make sure he's clean. And uh, we'll go from there as far as that goes. But as far as the April 27th date where he had a positive test... I'm just not going to sweep that under the rug. So to me, this doesn't disprove that. And for all he's going to say, well, it was just, I mean, well, look, man, if he had no traces or nothing in the other five, but he had one in this one, and then now he has nothing again, it's like, come on, man. I don't know. I'm just getting it out there because I know, uh, you know, I said I, I will follow this uh, story as it goes along. And this is the newest news that uh, he is some he's a clean fighter now. You know, so at least that's how I'm reading it. I know people in the comments section, you're going to school me on Meldonium and, you know, and look, man, I'm a guy that uh, I'm open to learning. But at the same time, though, I'm just not going to sweep the fail or the positive test from the 27th. I mean, it just doesn't work like that, man. You just you just can't sweep it under the rug and say, oh, well, you know, well, he got five out of six. I mean, that's 83 <laughs> percent. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just wish this issue would just uh, come to a close because it's starting to just really just become a headache just all the way around. Just everything, man. Just just everything about this is starting to become a headache. Um, YTBC, I'm out.